What is going on my friend, it's Danny, and today I'm gonna to talk about an amazing genetic pathway or gene in the body called FOXO3, how it's been linked to long life and what we can do to increase its activation. So quick disclaimer, don't take the content of this video as medical advice, it's for information purposes only. So the FOXO3 gene or pathway is something that we all have and it's very special when it comes to dealing with stress to the body. And as with the majority of genes, this gene is either turned on or turned off at any given time. And when, we, when the gene is turned on, it's said to be expressed. And when the gene is turned off, it's still there, but it's just not doing anything basically. Now it turns out that some people, some humans, actually have a variation in their FOXO3 gene, which results in the increased activation or expression of this gene. And these people that have this variation or polymorphism are said to have a 2.7 fold increased likelihood of living to be 100 years old. And if you can live to be 100 years old, you're said to become what's called a centenarian, which is very interesting. Also, another little interesting study showed that if you took worms and you genetically engineered them so their FOXO3 gene was always on, they actually increased their lifespan from 50 to 100%. So in some cases, they were able to double their lifespan, which is quite interesting. So obviously humans aren't worms, but it's still an interesting study. So what is actually going on here? What is FOXO3 actually doing? Well, it turns out that FOXO3 is a master regulator of a whole raft of other genes which are really important when it comes to healing the body and protecting the body as well. So here are five things that the FOXO3 pathway is believed to do by orchestrating all these other genes. So number one, it actually increases the activation of genes that are involved in DNA damage repair. And minimizing our DNA damage is really important if you want to live a long life, so that's a great benefit. Second thing it does, it activates antioxidant genes that can help us to prevent this DNA damage in the first place, so that's really good as well. The third thing it does, actually, it actually activates an autophagy pathway in the body. And autophagy is basically the clearing away of non-functional or senescent cells. And a senescent cell will basically just kind of sit around, it can't do its function anymore, and it actually secretes harmful substances to the body, so we want to get rid of them. So autophagy will actually help us to clear away these senescent cells, so that's really good too. Um, the fourth thing it does, it actually activates genes associated to the immune system or involved in the immune system. And the immune system can obviously help us to fight off infections and viruses, but they also help us to clear away pre-cancer cells. So that's another great benefit. Now, the fifth thing it does, it actually regulate, regulates genes that are involved in stem cell function and it increases their division and growth. And that's really important because as we age, we actually lose stem cell function and stem cells are really important to help us to replenish um, cell populations in different tissues in the body. And if we don't replenish them, they can actually lead to our organs becoming dysfunctional. So those are five really amazing things that the FOXO3 pathway does or the FOXO3 gene does which help us to explain this association between its increased activation and living a long life. So the big question is can we actually increase its activation? Well yes we can and I'm going to talk about four ways in which we can increase the expression of FOXO3. So the first one is through exercise. Um, which is very interesting. So we all know about the benefits of exercise, but I think the activation of FOXO3 is like the icing on the cake. So be it running, be it swimming, be it you know cycling or lifting weights, if you exercise, you actually increase your activation of FOXO3. So that's the first way. Now the second way is through heat stress. And the easiest way to get heat stress is just to jump into a sauna and sweat basically. So a sauna can actually increase the activation of FOXO3. Now the third thing is actually through being in ketosis and I've talked about ketosis a lot in previous videos so if you don't know what ketosis is I encourage you to check those videos out but basically ketosis is a metabolic state when we're burning fat as our primary fuel source rather than sugar. And when we do this and we're in this state of ketosis, we actually produce something called ketone bodies, which are our, basically our fuel source. Uh, one of these ketone bodies is called beta-hydroxybutyrate. And it's the beta-hydroxybutyrate which is actually responsible for this increased activation in FOXO3. So that's the third way, being in ketosis. Now the fourth way is one of my favorites because it's the easiest one, and that is by drinking green tea. So again, we've all heard about the health benefits of drinking green tea, and green tea is actually rich in something called polyphenols, and the most abundant polyphenol in green tea is something called EGCG, and it's the EGCG which is responsible for the increased activation in FOXO3, so that's the fourth way. So that is basically the video, so I will do a quick recap and then I'll wrap up the video. 
So FOXO3 is a genetic pathway or gene in the body that we all have, and it's the so-called longevity gene. And FOXO3, basically, if, if, so, if, if you're a human that has a variation in your FOXO3 gene, which results in its increased expression, you're actually more likely to, well, you're actually 2.7 times more likely to live to be 100 years old. And FOXO3 is a master regulator of a whole raft of other genes, which, are, which can help us to prevent damage and also heal damage as well in the body. So it does things like activate um, DNA damage repair genes, it activates antioxidant genes, it activates an autophagy pathway in the body to help us clear away these non-functional or senescent cells. It activates genes uh, involved in the immune system and it activates genes involved in stem cell function as well. So how do we increase the, the activation of FOXO3? Well, we can do it in four ways. The first one is by exercising. The second one is by heat stress, or like using a sauna basically. And the third one is by being in ketosis when we're in this fat burning state and producing these ketone bodies called beta hydroxybutyrate. And the fourth one is by um, taking in EGCG, which is found in green tea. So that is the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this one, please hit the subscribe button. And until the next time, please take care.